So we did do that. All right. Yeah. Well, I, I, it, it, what I'm a bit confused about is you did a whole apology. Like, but it sounds can you like you're stop not stop asking me about this. Like yeah. I, I yeah, said, it kind of matters. I, I have a statement coming out yeah. about it. So yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, all right. So trigonometry, a YouTube channel out of the UK, released this interview called Pearl Davis why I interviewed Nick Fuentes. Now this is very interesting because they scheduled her to do this interview, it, it, it appears almost like a month or two in advance, which is quite common for most in-person interviews, things like that. But in the time of you know her accepting the interview and coming to the interview, this whole Nick Fuentes thing happened. So toward the end of the interview, around the 51 minute mark, um, these gentlemen started to hold just pearly things accountable for that interview. Now I want you guys to listen to the questions that they ask her. Um, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play this clip and I'm gonna come back. I do have to ask you about it because in between the time that we booked you to come on the show and you actually coming on the show, you had a guy called Nick Fuentes. Oh you yeah, interviewed. yeah, Nick. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Uh, and then you did an interview with this guy. Like, this is not a guy we would ever have on because he's a racist, mm -hmm. uh, Holocaust denying piece of shit as far as I'm concerned. But you had him on and then you took that interview down and apologized. Mm -hmm. So what happened with that whole thing? Oh, there is, there is, a, I can't talk too much. There's like legal things going on. There's um, legal things going on? Yeah, wow. there's, um, not, not with Nick, but just, yeah. But there is, um... I have a video coming out about that whole thing. So you, do. you guys have to wait for the video. Well, um, but I will say I um, I did not find Nick to be racist. Uh, my staff actually did not find him to be racist. Wait, so. he was talking to an Italian girl next to you mm -hmm. and saying that she shouldn't have a black boyfriend or something along those lines. He, he doesn't believe in... See, I don't really want to go into like the race mixing stuff yeah. too much. No, but, but you just said he wasn't being racist and I watched him be racist on your show. Well, I mean, to me, he says the same things that, like, like there's a lot of people that think like that. When But doesn't make it less racist just because other people think it. You could say that, but to me, it's like, how do I put it? His argument is more about culture. It's easier if you date someone in your culture. Um, she, to you'd have to watch the full thing, but was, like, being a bit, like, combative to him. And to me, I, he was just, like, kidding. But, yeah. You'd he have to did watch. say... I am a bit racist, even in that. And in fact, in your apology, you said that he said racist things. Mm. Um, well, the, there's a video coming out about all of that, but you'll see. It's coming out. Okay. Well, the reason I'm asking you is because it's kind of like a big deal that you had this guy on. Mm -hmm. Do you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. he, he is incredibly toxic. Um, I, like, I'm just telling you my personal experience yeah. with him. Um, we filmed hours and hours and hours of footage with him. There was that one, in like... To me, if you watch the full clip, it puts it in a little bit of context. Yeah. But uh, he was really polite. He showed up on time. Like we just. Yeah. He, he also. And and, I, and honestly, he did a panel, and he spoke about his opinions on race mixing, and a lot of people agreed with him. Okay, but that doesn't change whether it's racist or not, right? But what I'm getting. Do you to... think it's racist to like? Because I'm I'm curious. Yeah. Do you think it's Go racist on. like if I'm Irish and I say I want to date someone that's Irish? Do you think that's racist? No, but if I say to you you're Irish, therefore you shouldn't date a black man, that is racist. Yeah. <laughs> now I, I want to talk about something that's very interesting. Firstly, what she says was I don't believe that Nick Fuentes is racist. Okay, and she talks about the fact that Nick Fuentes doesn't believe in race mixing. Now, to be fair to her, a lot of people have that assessment. She mentioned uh, later on in the interview, somebody like Dr. Umar Johnson. You know me, I'm pretty hardcore as a pro-black. So my sentiments with Dr. Umar are not very, we're, we're pretty much in, in the same neck of the woods about a lot of stuff, right? Especially when it comes to the black world. But what the gentleman asked her, she actually, she asked the guy, do you think that someone who wants to date Irish people only Irish is racist. She thought she had the guy on, on a one-up, right? And he says, no, but if an Irish person says you don't shouldn't date that black person because they're black, then that's racist, which she had actually no reply to. But I, I, I want to play this clip about these guys holding her accountable for her mistakes. Let's play that clip. You, you do have controversial guests, as we do, and yeah. there's nothing wrong with talking to people who are controversial, but... Nick Fuentes is a very different kettle of fish, as we say here, right? Yeah, um, 
My my opinion is that he was polite overall. Um, he was a good guest. He was also denying the Holocaust, from what I remember. Look, yeah, I'm not with that. <laughs> keep, me, <laughs> keep me out of that one. I'm not with the race. Like, that's not my thing. But I just think people are allowed to have their opinions. So if he has crazy opinions, let him have his opinions. And I think he, he should be allowed to talk about it on a podcast. But isn't it also the duty, Pearl, of the person interviewing them to push back on those opinions when they come up and actually challenge them and investigate them and to basically push back on it? Yeah, I mean, we could do another show where we push back more. It's not the end-all, be-all. But surely, that not that the risk? Isn't that? I risk? wanted to do like one with Dr. Umar, but he didn't want to come. Sad. Who, who's Dr. I don't know who that Dr. is. Dr. Umar has like the same opinions as Nick. Like he doesn't believe in race mixing too. He's just black. Yeah. Mm. It's like a common. Yeah. Yeah, there are some people who believe that. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you know, when you were talking about the Holocaust with him. He was saying it's like slavery, it got embellished, and you were sort of going, mm, I, can, I can see your point. Mm -hmm. And that's why I found it a bit confusing, because mm -hmm. then in your apology, you said, well, I wasn't really educated on these things. I, yeah. Um, but so in this particular part of the interview, they ask her, do you feel that you have some level of accountability for who you bring onto the platform? I mean, she's mentioning about the guy was polite. Nick Fuentes was polite he's a nice guy what what does that have to do with racist or racism you know like even jared taylor some people can consider what he says is as being racist or being racist and i i get that impression when, when he interacts with black people hey a guy's nice right but that has nothing to do with what he's talking about do you feel any level of accountability and the interview is awesome. You should go check it out. I'll put it to the first company at the top. They talked about different situations where, you know, you have such a person coming to the platform and they all, all already admitted, like, listen, we would never bring this guy to our show, like at all. We would never bring the guy to our platform. You know, we would never ask him to come. Okay. We would never do that. But now don't you have any level of accountability for who's on your show? And then here's the funny thing. If you look at some of the content, our comments look some of them are 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 basically bigging her up like you know like if you look at this guy mighty marvin it became clear halfway through the trigonometry wasn't trying to find out why pearl talked to this guy to have a conversation about it they were putting on a virtue signaling performance for the people trying to cancel her isn't it interesting and you'll see that argument all through the comment section okay you're going to see white women in there doing it. We won't even have to go in there. Just go and look for yourself, all right? And obviously, they were dealing with her in such a way that she couldn't even answer back. It, like, there is no way she was defending herself against what those guys were saying. And I'm being honest, right? If I, Just like I was honest with her in the Hafiz debate. She's demolishing the guy. But in the case of this, they're holding her accountable to, number one, what the guy said about black people, and number two, what she said about the Jews, are European Jewish people. And the reality is that a lot of the whites that are on the trigonometry's platform are co-signing just pearly things. And so this is the thing that blacks gotta get uh, gotta understand. People are never, for the most part, going to side with you. And the guys that are simping for just pearly things, the guys who are um, really okay with our people being disrespected, our people being you know, talk down to or made fun of in any kind of way. See, people on the other side don't find no problem with that, but let it be the other way around. Oh, now we got to be, you know, you, you, it's Minister Louis Farrakhan at the Southern Law, uh, Poverty Law Center, and, you know, you're a black supremacist group. That's exactly what they're going to say, but they're not going to say it about her in this, in this case. And, and you look at the, in the beginning of the clip, she didn't want to talk about it because they were holding her so much accountable to what she was saying and they were doing it from a, a logical perspective she couldn't get around those questions how can you defend the indefensible you can't do it you can't do it and they were dealing with her in a way that she couldn't get around it they even said look we would never bring this guy here what if the guy from value Taylor money said hey we won't bring this guy here because they know what he's going to say what is it to do so she's acting like oh we're going to bring this guy here for some clicks and we don't know what he's going to do you know exactly what he's going to do exactly what he's going to say but guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again for another episode of The Celebrity Drunk. Appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe to the bell. We're out. <laughs>